Hey, first grade. Today you need to get your paper back from me. You're also going to need to get one messy paper, one black crayon, a paintbrush. You can see I have two different sized paintbrushes. Um, obviously use a little paintbrush for little areas, big paintbrush for big areas. That should be everything that you need off of the supply table. If you have not finished drawing and tracing your first three buildings, you need to do that first. And then we added some emotions to each building. If you're that far, you're ready to add three more buildings. And these buildings are going to go in the background. So they're going to look like they're further away. You might just do a rectangle like this. Maybe you want to give one of those towers a nice spire or this thing that sticks up. And maybe I'll put one right here. Right. So these buildings look like they're further away because they are behind the buildings with the name or with the faces. So they're in the background. I need to take that crayon and trace them. Make sure that you only do three buildings. Don't overdo it because then next class it won't work when we go to paint these. So you should only have six buildings total. When you're that far, you're ready to put your artwork on top of your messy paper. And today we're just going to be painting the sky. I have some blue paint out and I have some black paint out. So if you want to do a daytime sky, obviously use blue. If you want to use a nighttime sky, use black. If you want to split it like Mr. Rizzi does, that's fine too. Just be careful not to mix them. I'm just going to be using black. Remember to just get it on the tip of your brush and to brush going back and forth, not side to side, back and forth. And I'm going to fill up that entire sky. Be extra careful around your buildings. After you've drawn your three background buildings and you've painted your entire sky, these are going to go in the bottom of the drying rack as low as we can go. We're going to make sure to put our brushes in the brush bin. If it's a clean brush and you didn't use it, you can put it back in the bucket that you found it in. Please make sure to put the black crayon where it belongs as well. Then you can read or free draw or weave.